Hello and welcome to Jubilee Road for another model review. So today then we're going to look at the all new Bachmann Arriva Trains Wales Class 150 with digital sound. So yeah guys, I'm, I'm a bit late with this one. I only just had it in the last couple of days. I do know they've been out a couple of weeks, but I didn't really decide. And I wanted one until the last few days, so I thought, oh well, let's go and get one. So then, today, as usual, we're going to have a proper good look at this model and see what we get. So just show you the end of the box, as usual, so you can see what we've got. When the camera wants to focus, that is. There we go. Class 150-2, two-car DMU. Arriva Trains Wales livery, with fitted passengers as well as the sound. So that's really nice as well. So let's get into the box, then we just lift this up and the two cars are in two separate uh, boxes when we take them out so if we just put one there that's a motor car you can tell that by the weight of it and then we pull this one out as well uh, we do have a few bits and pieces in the box as well uh, this is just your general information body screws uh, where the speaker is and all that kind of stuff and fit in the Dakota mine, but it's already have one so we won't be needing that Then we have this uh, The warranties on the back And then we have this uh, Which is basically to do with the sound. It's a very simple sheet of paper You got a list of sounds are there which we got 19 functions. That's yeah, that's really nice Tells you what's going on the CVs local Dakota address and run in and all that kind of stuff on that sheet. Bit of colour to just make it look a little bit nicer. That's enough of the paperwork. So then, here we go. Here is the two card DMU. Now it's in the standard packaging that we know from Bachman. Keeps the model nice and safe. This is the trailing unit. This does not have the motor in. So we'll take the uh, sleeve off and lift this up. And here we go. Straight away, I, I can see the model is extremely well detailed and the livery is looking fantastic as well, but we'll get a, a close-up of that in a few minutes. Get rid of some of the packaging. So here's the actual motor car itself, exactly the same way of taking it out of the box, as you would expect. Um, just slide this off. We do have a detailing pack in this one, as you can see just here, just there. Looks like we've got a blanking plate there. Uh, we've got the couplings, which hook the two units together. We've also got some detailing to go on the front as well, and some realistic uh, couplings just in there as well. Nice detailing pack. You, we just last bit is just to get this part of the unit out oh yeah that's got a lot of weight in it and there's the front drive car so what we'll do then we'll put the whole lot on the track and have a proper good look at the details and running quality so we'll uh, have a look at the detail of the model and we'll start uh, at this end which is the uh, powered end um, yeah really nice detail uh, the coupling is already fit in by Bachman but um, I'd probably be taking that out and putting it at the other end so I can uh, double it up with my other 150. Uh, we do have separately fitted wi wipers just here either side. We have the number just over there. We do have directional lamp uh, lighting, lamp iron, cabin detail is quite nice and we do have the uh, air horns which are just on here. It's quite well detailed. We've also got uh, separately fitted handrails there either side picked out in white. So now we're at the uh, side of the model and we'll have a look at both uh, of the cars here. Straight away the, we got the nicely done livery and the lettering is applied perfectly by Bachman. Well done there. Uh, we've also got separately fitted handrails just here on the, the driver's door. We got very very well detailed bogies and we got the steps going up to the driver's door. So if we just move the model this way, detail around the doors is done very well. You've got the buttons there to open the doors. 
are there. You can see the passengers on the inside of the, uh, the carriages there. Really, really nice underframe detail and warning stickers. And there we go. We got, I believe that's the radiator for the engine just, just here. I think that's what that is. It's very well uh, uh, modelled. So if we carry on going this way, we got the exhaust pipe there and uh, the carriage numbers, which are here and here. Uh, it's quite a nice close coupling. Uh, quite happy with that. That's really nice. We got more passengers, an extremely well detailed underframe. You can actually see a part of the exhaust system underneath. We got the batteries, and as the, we keep moving the model forward, we got more detail. Extremely well detailed model, guys. This is really nice so far. And then we get, and we've got the uh, Arriva logo, saying Arriva Trains and Trainee Arriva Cymru, which is Welsh, and I should be able to say that because I am Welsh. Although I can't really speak Welsh. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so really, really well detailed. Um, I'm not going to show you this end because it's exactly the same as the other end. And the roof detail will won't look at that either up here because there's not very much of it. So, so far, really go very good. So now we've had a look at the detail of the model, and i got to say, it's really, really impressive. Uh, Bachman have done a really nice job on the detail, and the livery application is perfect. So now we're going to check the running quality of the model, so we are going to turn on the directional lighting. Let's turn it on for you. There we go, you can see it there, just coming on. Ah, uh, you might have noticed the interior lights do also work, which is a really nice feature. So then we're going to go down to the foot bridge, just see the lights change in there as I change direction. Uh, we're running on 128 speed steps as usual, um, and let's see how the model is straight out the box. So uh, here we go. That's pretty good, that's on speed step 1 out of 25. Very responsive uh, model, i got to be honest. Yep, seems really quite smooth there. Oh, it slows down really nice as well. We have got a little bit of motor noise, I don't know if you can hear that, but that don't matter because we do have sound in this one, obviously. Slight squeak there, but... I believe that's one of the wheels, not the actual motor itself, because that wouldn't be good, would it? So yeah, running quality is actually really nice. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to refer to the sound card page. And we've got 19 functions. Now I'm not going to play all 19 functions, guys. I don't want to be here all day. We'll uh, do the engine startup sequence. Um, we've got horns, we've got uncoupling, we've got guard's whistle, and we've got return to idle and stuff like that now obviously function one so function one then obviously will turn the sound on now we do have a couple of options when pressing a uh, function one now first one is just press it once and we do get a standard engine start but if we do on off on now that's pressing function one we get like a stuttery start or a cold start like you get on a cold morning. And then if you press it on and then off straight away, we get a failed start. So that's really quite nice. We get a couple of options. So we're going to do the failed start first. And let's see what that sounds like. Very nice, exactly what you would expect. So then let's now go to the another fun option on function one, which is basically the cold start. And let's see what that sounds like.
that's really nice. I'm really impressed with that. Sounds quite good with failed starts and that kind of stuff. So then, what we're going to do next, let's send the model around uh, Jubilee Road and see how it runs and copes with the curves and the actual uh, point work as well on the layout. So, 150, take it away. One of those wheels are definitely squeaking on this model, so uh, I'll have to get the oil out, I think, already. So there we go then guys, overshot slightly because it takes a, get, a bit of getting used to to run this model because it does slow down, a, well doesn't sound much sense but uh, quite, sorry, it takes a long time then to slow down this one, couldn't get my words out there again. So running quality, yeah really really nice, I'm very impressed. Uh, the sound is actually really nice, very clear. Um, so then, conclusion of the model. We got something to speak about first. Uh, the price, well, the recommended retail price is absolutely ridiculous, guys. There's no getting around that. The recommended retail price for this is £350. That, to be honest, Bachman is absolutely disgusting trying to charge that. Of course, I didn't pay that. You know, if model shops were charging that much, I wouldn't even bother buying it, guys. Just don't pay that much if you're going to get one of these just don't it's not just not a good idea now there is one or two problems i want to point out there's no driver in either end of the model now i don't know if that's just mine but it seems a bit daft that we've got passengers but no driver that's a bit odd the other one thing i want to touch upon being a two car dmu and the sound only coming from the front one does sound a little odd to me. They've got all the electrics here. It would have been nice if they put a speaker in the rear as well. That's not too much of a problem. It's, it still sounds a nice model with the speaker. is around this uh, area here. Now, you heard the sound. I wanted to ask you guys a question. When it starts up, should the engine start up twice because there's two engines on this or do they start exactly the same time on a 150 because on this model you can only hear one engine starting up i don't know please let me know but then we come to the biggest problem which really really did annoy me guys and i'm going to show you so the problem is then with the front drive unit now here 
there's nothing wrong. But as we move back to these windows here, and the two doors are completely blacked out because they've fitted a motor in the passenger compartment. Why? That's really quite annoyed me. There's no need to have done that. Uh, real track trains, as you all know them, I think, or rail, rail track trains that produced the Arriva uh, Pacer, they've managed to hide the motor underneath. And guys, even the old rubbish Hornby Pacer, they hidden the motor and it's not taken up a good, well, nearly half this carriage. That's really quite annoyed me because when you run the model at night, which I have actually done just to see what it looked like, it looks stupid with half the carriage blacked out at the front. I'm not impressed with that at all. It's a bit of a shame because it really lets the model down. But if I just go a bit closer, you can see what I mean. They tried just here to put paint the seats on the black there, but you can't see through. Really don't like that. Right then guys, that's the end of the review today. Yes, I said some bad things about the model which needed to be addressed. I don't know whether others that have the model are bothered by this. I am a little bit, especially with this. The other things I can live with, that's fine, but the motor taking up all this space is just bit, just not right at all. Right, well, in conclusion then, is it a good model? Although it has some problems, yes it is. The livery is fantastic, sounds really good, very, very well detailed, and it's a nice touch to have the passengers in as well. Um, I paid uh, uh, 2 dollars for this. It's still a lot of money, but you do get quite a bit. You get the passengers, you get the sound, you get the lighting, but it's still overpriced. With that motor covering up... Oh, sorry guys, that's just really annoyed me there a little bit. But yeah, it's still a good model, and I do recommend you buying it. As you've seen, it looks really nice around Jubilee Road. So guys, there we go. Let me know if you uh, like the model. Does the problems with it bother you? It does me, but uh, I'm not the same as everyone else, am I? So there we go, guys. Overall, it's still a good model, and I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I can't give it any more than that, guys. But... Still, if you want one, go out and get one because they ain't going to be around for very long. So that's it for another review, guys, of a really quite nice model from Backman. I'll be back very soon here at Jubilee Road or on location. And please don't forget the Facebook page, which I'll put a link in the description below. Bye, everyone.